Now in the last tutorial we looked at workspaces and we went between the CS 5.5 and CS 5 to the CS 6 workspace and the only thing that didn't change when we reset this workspace is that the preview area down here in the project panel remained. Now the actual layout of a CS 5 or a CS 5.5 project will open as the default layout in CS 6 when you open the project but when you click the option to Windows Workspace Reset Workspace you'll find that resetting the current workspace doesn't get rid of this preview area which is an option that's stored with the CS6 program interface itself so to get rid of that you simply need to go back to the panel menu and get rid of the preview area by clicking here to get rid of the preview area and in the next tutorial we'll start looking at a few more options about our folders and bits and pieces in both the project panel and the media browser but in this tutorial we need to talk about keyboard shortcuts now if you go up to the edit menu you'll see that the second from bottom says keyboard shortcuts and if you click on keyboard shortcuts you'll see that you've got access to all the keyboard shortcuts in Premiere Pro and you can find out where they are what they do for instance we can open up the clip one and we can see that speed duration is control R or to group something would be control G and you can see that as you untwirl these you can see the different options so render effects and work area is the enter key but it's the bit right at the top I'm keen to show you. These are the default keyboard shortcuts for CS6 and they have changed for some of these bits and pieces. So if for instance I search for markers, if I put marker, you'll see that to add a marker is now M. But if I go back to with this drop down CS5.5 you can see add marker is num -malt, the asterisk key on your number pad. So you'll see that keyboard shortcuts have changed between CS6 and CS5.5 but you can switch to go between them and you'll see that we've actually got a lot more functionality with markers. So go to and they're all to do with M. So go to next marker shift M, go to previous marker control shift M and clear all markers so you can see we've got a whole load more functionality with markers. However you might be used to working with a different editor entirely say Avid Media Composer or Final Cut Pro. If you want to load in those keyboard shortcuts because they're the ones that you're used to using it's as simple as clicking Final Cut Pro 7 and you can see markers again is M. You lose the additional functionality that's built in to CS6 and in time hopefully you'll be able to take on the new keyboard shortcuts and learn them but if you would much rather start by working with keyboard shortcuts that you are used to then you can start off by loading them straight in and then when you're ready you can go from whatever you previously used to Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 and you'll have those keyboard shortcuts built in. Now say I want to change a keyboard shortcut. So say I wanted to change the marker back to the asterisk key on my number pad. Well I can select it and I can go to edit hitting whatever it is so I would hit the asterisk key on my number pad which is what numult is all about and then to undo, undo or I could clear. So it's very simple to change your keyboard shortcuts and load in other keyboard shortcuts and even save out your keyboard shortcuts. So I've got all my keyboard shortcuts and I give it a new name for a custom keyboard shortcut layout that I've got and then I can save it and I can load that back in at some future time. Okay, that's keyboard shortcuts. In the next tutorial we're going to look at some of these folder options down here in the project panel and also some of the options in the media browser.